I'm Ryan with Prudential Pest Solutions, and we offer yellow jacket and hornet removal for residential commercial clients. But I want to show you the, some of the inner workings of how these nests are because a lot of folks don't get to see them up close and personal like, uh, like we do. So check out these bald face hornet's nests, for example. We can see they have one entrance, another one down here. But just a pretty good sized nest. A little bit bigger than a basketball. Beautiful coloration. And you can see that they build it with the stick. And this is the branch that the little branch it was hanging from in the tree. But they build it with that branch going actually through the nest. And I've seen them where the, the branches will go every which way. Um, so a lot of times you can't just, you know, cut it and remove it. You have to really cut all the way around it to get it down. Now, that one's a fully intact bald face hornet nest. This is some broken apart pieces of a different nest that we can use just to show you what it looks like. And we can see this is multiple layers, multiple layers that they built. Now we're going to look at that a little bit closer soon, but I want to show you that one of the most common questions we get is how do they actually make them? And I'm going to show you in this next clip here that the bald faced hornet will actually chew at wood, um, fences, uh, mailbox posts, um, and trees to make to actually get the cellulose and the fibers that they need to actually make their nest. So what they do is they chew at it. When it mixes with their saliva, it makes like a pulp. And then they form it into this. So look what these bald faced hornets are doing to this fence. See, folks often ask me, how do they, what kind of uh, material do they use to make their big, um, you know, football or basketball sized nests? And we can see here on this wooden fence, if I zoom in, these channels, they're, they're eating the wood, not eating the wood, they're chewing at it. And this is what they're going to take back and make their nest, make the outer part of their nest. That's, that's where they're getting that cellulose fiber um, from this fence here. And if we look, there's a few on here now chewing away. So what actually happens inside of the nest of a bald faced hornet? Well, what we're looking at is just the outside coverage. On the inside of this, if we were to cut this in half, there is what looks like honeycomb. And in that honeycomb is where they lay their egg. And their egg eventually will turn into this, which is a little worm looking thing called a larva. From here, the workers feed it, take care of it, and it eventually will turn into a fully mature bald faced hornet. And we can see the size difference with my finger. The larvas are pretty big. So that's what turns into the next generation of these. So when we open up a nest or we do a removal of a nest of this size, it's not uncommon to find tens, hundreds maybe even of these larvae, which are going to be the next generation of these workers. And that's pretty common with yellow jackets, hornets, um, even honeybees as well. Uh, many of those wasps are, and, and uh, bees are going to make that similar, very similar style um, uh, life cycle. Now, if you're lucky enough or brave enough to get yourself a nest of that size, folks often ask me, how can we preserve it? And really the best method is just to let nature do its thing. So keep it out of, uh, keep it really away from nature, keep it inside. What the hornets have made um, should last a very long time in the right condition. So a nest, you know, that's just paper like this, as long as it's not handled too much and is kept indoors, can last a very, very long time. What I've done with this one, because it is going to be handled a little bit much more, rather I should, because I'm going to take this along with me on some, um, some of our marketing stuff and, and some of our events that we do because it is just a beautiful, beautiful looking nest. Is that I covered it in a clear lacquer. 
um, which kind of I, I was hoping it would give a little bit of a shine to it and really bring out some of this some of these patterns and striations but really what it did is it kind of firmed it up a little bit um, and that way I, it's more prone to survive handling um, for travel As a pest control professional, I have the equipment and the tools to get up close and personal with nests and species like yellow jackets, hornets, wasps, and bees. The average homeowner is not going to be able to do that. So if you'd like to get a nest this size, it's very, very simple. At, during the wintertime, just go out in the woods and look. Look high into the tree when all the, when all the leaves are gone, and you're going to see these nests because the hornets abandon them um, after one season. So, you know, if you wait after a couple cold spells in December, January, Head out into the woods. I mean, you don't want to wait too late because the weather, the snow, the rain will start to deteriorate them, especially if there's no leaves on the trees. But you can find your own. Bring it inside. I would keep it maybe in the garage to make sure everything's out of it. So if you have a hornet and wasp issue and you live in Chester County, give Prudential Pest Solutions a call. We can come out and safely and effectively remove that nest.